right, PLCQL outputs. I should remind you that PLCQL is not an output language. It does not have a built-in output functionality. That means if you don't intentionally say that I will have some outputs, you will not see any outputs. To say that we should run a code that at least one time for a session. This code is set server output on. With this command, you open up PLCQL for outputs. But this is not enough. Even we say that I want to see the outputs, there will be no output. To have some outputs, you need to use DBMS output package. DBMS output is an Oracle's pre built package that can do some output issues. A package is a PLCQL object that has some procedures or functions in it to do some operations. DBMS output package also has some procedures or functions to do some output operations. We are going to look at this package in our further lessons, but for now, we will learn how to use putLine procedure. Did you realize that? We first write package name and then the procedure name with a dot sign between them. If our procedure gets some inputs, we write inputs between parentheses. Let's see how to use it in a SQL developer. Now, as we know, we can do all the things only in blocks. We will write our begin and end keywords. As we do not have anything to declare, there is no need to write declare keyword. Now the thing what we need to do is calling our dbms out package with put line procedure. Let's write dbms output dot put line. This procedure outputs into the script output that we write inside the parentheses. So we need to write something inside it. Let's write hello world between parentheses. As this is a text, we need to write this text between single quotes. All right, it seems we are ready to run our query. As we see, there is no typos. Let's run it then. We just saw that anonymous block completed, but where is our hello world text now? We need to execute set server output on commands for our session. I go to top and write set server output. And on. Now let's execute this command first. I executed. There is no message, no problem. It worked. We can run our code again. Yeah. Now we have the output. You will see the anonymous block completed text anyway. This means your code has worked. If there will be any errors, this would be printed anyway, but this time with the error text. You must probably know about the script output area in here. This area shows all the outputs, messages, error text in our anonymous blocks. Besides, if you run your queries with the run script button above the up in here, yes, in here, you can press in here or press F5. Your query result will be printed in script output. You can clear here with this clear icon in here or pin with this icon to save the last outputs for a while. You must use it for checking with the next outputs. It depends on you. You can pin it. 
All right, we print outputs with using put line procedure of DBMS output package. We will use this procedure for so many times in our next lesson, so I think this is enough for outputting. Let's turn back to our document. Our subject is nested blocks. We can write another block inside of a block. This is called as nested blocks. Let's turn back to SQL Developer. We can write another begin end block inside this block. Let's write now. Let me write another begin end after the DBMS output put line text. And DBMS that put line let's write PLC fill now we can run our query we can see that nested blocks run accordingly this seems useless for anonymous blocks without variables but we will see that this will be useful when we use with variables. We will see some examples when we learn variable scopes. I know I said so much about we will see in further lessons, but these subjects are all related subjects. I'm trying to explain you what you need to learn for now. I will add on it when I explain another subject. Be sure that you will see all the subjects with all the details, but explaining all the things after and after will not be a good way. The best thing is explaining it when the time comes. You will both remember the old knowledge and add new on it. You will see that this is the best way of teaching something from zero. This course is a zero to hero course, so you will learn all the details. I have to say one thing more. First lectures will compulsorily be mostly on talking because you need to know what you are going to learn and what the essentials of PLCQL are before you start coding. This is so important that if you do not know these basics, you will so hardly understand the course. But don't worry, this will not take too much. You will see examples of every subject where it is possible to write code. Almost all of our lectures will be taught on great examples. We will learn about all of them gradually and methodically. So this is enough about nested blocks for now. So this is the end of this lesson. See you in our next lessons.